we are back. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, oh yeah! Someone's O must go. Little ends revel, oh! From the USA, big game Jesse P. She comes into this matchup red hot. She's won four in a row in eight of her last 10, taking on Martina Trevor, Trevor, Trevor San, Chow, Bela that. Martina's playing good tennis. She's now a top 20 ranked player in the world. Dreams do come true. But she's taking on Jessica Pegula, who's coming off of a masterclass session against Murray Buskova, the defensive powerhouse. Said all the time, Jesse P is a lock to make any master quarterfinal. And we are going to ride her into the next round. I like what Trevisan's doing. Congratulations on the accomplishments. But Jessica Pigula on the money line is the pick here. From Russia. Kasakina. Dasha. She comes into this matchup winning six of her last ten, taking out the heavy ground strokes of Anastasia. She followed it up with a pressure from Serenko, whose backhand is top notch. No handshakes, please. Now she takes on Veronica from the Federation, who she's beat twice. Last time out, we saw Dasha get her first serves in play pretty easily, which is good. She only committed two double faults, but she only won 62% of her first serves and gave up eight breakpoint opportunities. In the previous round, she struggled as well to win her first serves, only winning 65% of those, giving up six breakpoints. Veronica's got through two tight matches from very tough competition. Veronica's put up 11 aces and she has pressured opponents into 20 breakpoint opportunities. Facing someone who's not a strong server to begin with. I like Kuda Matova in this one. I like Kuda Matova plus four and a half games on the alternate spread. Good price, good value, playing someone who does not serve well and will lose games. I think Veronica will win at least one set, probably the second, and she'll probably win the match. From the hard-hitting Belgium, who would bring sand to the beach? Well, Mayar won't because she's right at home. She's a clay expert. She went to Parma and took out the Greek goddess for the title. And more than half of her wins on her career come from the dirt. Whoa. Elise Mertens is 15 and 9 on the year, and she's won 6 of her last 10. We've seen wins against Elizabeth, Alicia Parks, Kasakina, Petra 
Chick, Rebecca Marino, and Julie Niemeyer. But the question is, can she close the door? I told you before I wouldn't back at least Mertens in a single file line. But she does get the party started at least. But she's healthy again and the shoulders feeling a little better. Well, kinda. She's averaging five double faults per match. Ouch. And she's giving up five breakpoint opportunities per match. Ouch. Sharif is consistent with her ball placement and at least she's getting her first serves in play. This has upset written all over it. I say all the time, Mertens is a lock to make it out of the first and second round of a Masters event. But we're beyond that stage. Mertens is going to give Sharif opportunities to break. She's going to double fault and she is going to make mistakes. The question is, can Sharif capitalize on those mistakes? I would be shocked if Sharif does not win this match outright. She's aggressive, she's loud, and that can be intimidating. But the pick is Sharif plus five and a half. Enjoy. Arena Bergu is the face of Romanian tennis. Where's little Simona? Along with Serana Sirstea, they're getting the job done. If only Gabby Russe can get the car started again. We're rooting for you, Gabby. You're tough. Bergu is approaching 300 wins on clay. Let me repeat that. 300 wins on clay. We saw her take out Mokova and Big game, Shelby Rogers. Whoa. Ludmilla. She's won five of her last ten, and she's only ten and nine on the year. She's a younger player by nearly a decade, but don't be surprised if Big Q is the more athletic player. But I like the shot making of Ludmilla between the lines going against Big Q, who's a defensive powerhouse. There's no way this match doesn't go over 19.5 games. That's the pick and joy. Vamos! But Dosa came out of nowhere three years ago, going from nearly ranked 100 into the top 10. Alicia Parks, it's possible, and she's on her way there. But these two ladies, the head-to-head -head is 1-1. One, one. Zachary, I say it all the time, she starts slow on clay. So I'll take Bedosa to win the first set on the money line. This is good energy. From Warsaw. Igas Fiantek. She doesn't know if she wants to be a tennis player or save the world. I'll take the latter. She's got moves. They might have to make a footloose three the way she switches from offense to defense so fast. She's quick. Ekaterina might be making faces today. Oh, the disrespect. If you're sitting near the baseline, you better wear your helmet. I see a lot of mistakes. I'll take Igas Fiantek to win the second set on the money line. But be careful. If she doesn't lose this match, she might lose the next one. This is the third time this week. Who's working IT? Not big sister, I need little Mira. If she wins this match, they may have to call the labor board for keeping her out late working on a school night. But did you see those game checks? Over $160,000, whoa! 
She was so shocked she forgot she was 15 or 16 and she asked Andy Murray out on a date. He said, get your eyes checked, but she's 2020 on the court. Did you see the upsets? She took out Magdala, Nett, Beatrice, her dad, and long hair don't care. Sabalenka's got firepower. She hits hard. And the pick here is for the first set to go under 9.5 games. From the Czech Republic, they're searching for Mrs. Czech, but have they checked the WTA? Those 15 ladies have nothing on Barbara. She's back, and for all you haters that doubt it, oh, look at her now. She won Dubai, and she's already nearly past her win total from last year. She'll move you up, down, left, right like a video game. She's got good serve placement and her serve and volley will have you spinning around. And Team Vegan's always down to go three. Petra Martik. She's a former top 20 player and she's fit, athletic, and whoa, does she has skills. She disguises her drop shot and you'll never know it's coming. She'll hit a slice from the baseline and chase down any short balls in your arsenal. But I'll take the real Mrs. Czech Republic for the win. This is good energy. Thanks for listening. Like the video and hit the super thanks. And I'll be back in a minute.